Thank you for viewing my video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Today, we're gonna go over my truck toolbox bag, which is a Voyager bag from Harbor Freight. And it's the 15 inch, I believe. If you've got your soda pops, go ahead and have one, pop it open. Let's open the back. This is what I carry in my truck. So I do a tire slime tackle and I've used that to plug some tires. So we have that. I have a Harbor Freight three eighths and a quarter inch set. Got this for about six bucks. I'll leave that in there just in case I need that. I have a ball peen hammer, a 16 ounce. Oops, sorry. There you go. Leave that in there. In case you need to bust something out at the wheel well or something, like some rocks or, you know, if you need it for banging on anything. A towel, of course. Wash, gotta wipe your hands. Some gloves to protect your hands. These come in handy, especially if you're changing tires and you don't wanna get all greasy. A roll of duct tape. Yes, a big roll of duct tape. My dad always told me to carry a big roll of duct tape. You never know when it's gonna come in handy. I got a 3 8 breaker bar because it fits in this bag. I got this from Pittsburgh. I think it was like $10, maybe a little less with coupon. I have a couple lights. I got a headlight just in case I have to go under the vehicle for any reason. And I also have this one where you could just hit it and it goes on like that. And you can do different, different ones. And you can also, it's a magnet too. So you can put it to metal and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Put those back. I have a pry bar, just an old standard pry bar. This is handed down to me from my father-in-law. He's since passed away, but I keep it in my bag for good luck. Hopefully I don't need it in an emergency. I have two sets of Craftsman wrenches, one SAE and one metric. And I just keep those in there. And the little pouches that they came in. Oops, there we go. That way I have them if I need to wrench anything down. I have a toothbrush to clean, a uh, toothbrush to clean off anything. I have some Quinn uh, needle nose pliers right here. Put that in there. I have Quinn um, diagonal cutters right here. I have some lineman pliers, which are nice. I like these. Took out my old crappier ones and put these in. These are actually not that bad. I actually like them. I have a couple of vice grips in here. Or actually, these are Ace brand, uh, but they're the same thing. Um, I think they're just like a knockoff or rebranded of some sort. I've got a adjustable wrench right here. Or actually, it's a plier. Mm, little pair of scissors in there. Never know when you got to cut something. Mm, it's hot out today. Whew, sweating. I got, um, this is the metric wrenches that I carry. Uh, I got one of these big adjustable wrenches. And I have a couple more smaller ones over here. I don't know if you can see that, but they're right here. Never know. A multimeter. I got that and a lighter. Got that free from Harbor Freight when they used to give out free stuff. They don't do that really anymore. You keep a lighter, you never know if you need to start a fire. Uh, where I live, it can get cold, so sometimes if you break down, you might have to get out and start a fire. Uh, and let's see. I got a midget screwdriver. Well, I probably shouldn't call it that. It's a tiny screwdriver um, and some hearing protection, just in case I have to mail on something. Never know when you need that. So that's that. On the inside pocket, or outside pockets, I guess, we have some screwdrivers. Again, Harbor Freight. I got some flat tips, a couple different sizes, and then I got a skinny one for like carburetor type stuff. 
Um, here I got some Phillips. I got a couple different kinds in there. So that's basically what's in my little car emergency kit. So if there's anything else you think I should have or anything, please let me know. Other than that, thank you for watching. And this is my second video. So hopefully you like. Bye-bye.